Hello, this is Dr. Eddie Morgan over at Clovis East High School, ready to help you with your homework again tonight. We're looking in Math 1 at Worksheet 5.6a. Remember that every problem on the homework help mirrors the exact problem on your homework. If you have a problem with a particular home problem, just fast forward to that problem and we should be able to help you out. Let's get started. All right, today we're going to be looking at solving exponential equations. Now, the key to all, every one of these problems is we have an exponent here with a base of 3, 3 to the x power. What we want to do is find out what this is in base 3. In other words, if I can write this this way, if I can change this to be 3 to some number equals 3 to the x, then I can make these two equal and find out what x is. Does that make sense? Maybe it will as we do a couple. So I'm asking first, what's the question is? Um, so let's start the question here. 243 equals 3 to the x. Well, what is to power of 3 is 3 of x? Okay, what is it? Well, if you're not sure, we could just start dividing. 243 divided by 3 is going to get me 81. 3 goes into 81 nine times. 3 goes into that, in, I mean, you should, 3 goes into that 27, excuse me. Getting ahead of myself here. 3 goes into that 27. 3 goes into that 9. And 3 goes into that 3. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this means that 3 to the 5th equals 3 to the x. At this point, since the bases are the same, that implies that 5 equals x, or if I turn it around, x equals 5 is our solution. Notice again how we took, we saw what our base was, and then we made the other one have the same base. Okay? So let's give it a try over here. What we're looking for is, this is 2 to some number equals 2 to the x. What number is that? Well, let's just start dividing. 1024 divided by 2 is... 5, 1, 2, divided by 2 again is 4, carry the 1, 11, 5, 6, uh, messed that up, that's, that's not what I'm looking for, 2 goes into that, um, <clears throat> 256, divide by 2 again, I get 1, and then I get uh, 28. Divided by 2 is 64. Divided by 2 is 32. Divided by 2 is 16. At this point, you should be figuring out what it's going to be anyway. Divided by 2 again is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. We count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we discovered that 2 to the 10th equals 2 to the x. And since the bases are the same, we can therefore conclude that 10 equals x, or our answer is x equals 10. Okay, so notice the basic premise, the basic strategy, is to take the one number that's not an exponent and change it into an exponent with the same base. And then you can set the exponents equal and solve your equation. Problem three gives us another little variation. Notice that what we're trying again to do is we're trying to say 1 16th equals 2 to what power? All right. Well, we notice here that 1 16th is actually being divided. So in other words, if I were to take 1 16th, I could take 1 16th and recognize 1 16th is... Uh, let's do our division first and see what 16 is. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Divided by 2 is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is actually 1 divided by 2 to the 4th power. Okay? Now at this point, sometimes students will answer and say, okay, x is 4. But notice we're dividing by 4. So you remember our, our basic... Um, <clears throat> rule that we learned back in unit two was that any number to the nth power is that number divided by it. So in this case, 
1 divided by 2 is actually 2 to the minus 4. All right, so make sure you see that since we're dividing by 2s, the opposite of multiplying in exponents is dividing. So the negative exponent means dividing by the number. So at this point, we can conclude that x equals minus 4. We move on to number 4, and we see we have another situation. 256, see this is going to be some number here, 2. Well, let's see if 4 goes in it. We're looking for 4. So 256 divided by 4 is 64. And 64 divided by 4 is 16. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. So we have we know that 256 equals 4 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth power. That means that 1 over 256 is 1 over 4 to the fourth power. Okay. Now we also know from this example here that 1 over 4 to the 4 is 4 to the minus 4 equals 4 to the x minus 5. Now it looks more complicated than it is. Notice what we did. We took the 1 over 256 and changed it into 1 over 4 over 4 and made it negative. Now since these are the same, we can conclude that the exponents are the same. So I know that minus 4 equals x minus 5. This time, I have to solve the equation. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. And we find out that 1 equals x, or x equals 1, is the answer for number 4. All right. Number 5, our base is 5. So what is, what is 5 to what power is 625? So let's take 625, divide it by 5 is 125, divide by 5 again is 25, and so we find that 625 equals 5 to the 4th power. So I'll write down 5 to the x equals 5 to the 4th power. So we can immediately conclude if the bases are the same, the exponents must be the same, so our answer is x equals 4. Number six is similar. Again, we want to find out 125. What base of five is that? So five here goes 25. Five and five. So 125 equals five to the third power. So I'll substitute that in here. Five to the third. And since the bases are the same, the exponents must be. So we write x plus 2 equals 3. And now we have one more step. So we undo the plus 2 from this side. And we find out that x equals 1. Pretty simple. All right, number 7. Again, our strategy, our base is 3. So 243 is 3 to what power? So we'll start doing our division here. 3 goes into this 81 times, 3 goes into that 27, that 9, 3, and 3. So you can see that 243 equals 3 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 power. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 5 times. So we can write it in here. 1 divided by 3 to the 5th equals 3 to the x minus 1. We need to remember again that any number to the nth power, n minus n power is 1 over a to the nth, but here we're going backwards. In other words, any number to the 1 over n equals a to the minus n. So this is 3 to the minus 5 equals x minus 1. 3. Erase that so I don't confuse you. 3 to the minus 5th equals 3 to the x minus 1. If the bases are the same, then the exponents are the same. So we can write minus 5 equals x minus 1. At this point, we just simply need to solve. Undo the minus 1 on this side by adding 1. And our answer is that minus 4 equals x, or x equals minus 4. Problem number 8, we're dealing with base 2. So we want to know what is 128 in terms of base 2. So we divide that by 2, we get 64. By 2 is 32. By 2 is 16. 2 is 8. 2 is 4. 
So 128 equals 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seventh power. So we'll write that in here. 2 to the x plus 2 equals 2 to the 7 power. So if the bases are the same, then the exponents must be the same. So x plus 2 equals 7. And now we simply solve the one-step equation by undoing the plus 2 on each side. And we find that x equals 5. Problem 9 is a reasoning question. It asks us, how do you find the solution of an exponential equation by graphing? Well, what you do is you split, split, the, split the equation into two equations, left and right. Then you graph them and find the intersection. Okay. Uh, the, the x value is your solution. Sometimes this is easier to see than to say. For example, if I had this equation, if I had 2 to the x equals, let's say, 4, all right? I would split it into two equations and write y equals 2 to the x and y equals 4. And then I would graph them, okay? My first equation, y to the 2 of x, goes through the point 1, And it looks kind of like this. All right. My, this is y equal, this is 2 to the x equals 4. My other equation, 1, 2, 3, 4, simply looks like this. And where they intersect, this is the point uh, 2, 4. And so my solution is x equals 2. And you can see that 2 squared indeed equals 4. But again, the process is take the right side, make it in a, a graph, y equals that, and take the left side. And where they intersect, the x value is your solution. All right. In the error analysis, I usually just start by working the problem. <clears throat> and then at that point, I can see what's happened here. So the classmate says that his solution of this equation is x minus 3. Well, let me start working this. So I want to find what's 343 is a product of 7. So 343 divided by 7. 7 goes into this 4 times, 28, 63, 49. And so we see that 343 equals 7 to the third power. So if I substitute that in here, 7 to the x plus 1 equals 7 to the third. Now, since the bases are the same, we assume that the exponents are the same. And now we solve this by undoing the minus 1. And our answer is that x equals 2. So what did he do wrong? He said x equals 3. Well, if you look right here, you can see what his problem was. He forgot that the he forgot that the exponent was x plus 1, not x. He was solving this equation. All right. That problem, you see, then you have 7 to the third, and then you eat x equals 3. He just forgot that the exponent wasn't x. It was x plus 1. Simple mistake. The next problem is very interesting because for one thing it prepares you for an extra credit problem on the test and it let's start working it and I can show you where it, it, he makes his error the problem says that 8 to the 2x equals 2 to the x plus 5 now in this case you can see what he does he assumes that I can set the exponents equal however what's the problem the problem is the bases are not the same. 
You can only say that the exponents are the same if the bases are the same. So we need to change them. So I, since 2 is the smallest number, I need to figure out what 8 is in terms of 2. So 2 goes into 8 4 times, 2 and 2. So 8 equals 2 to the third. So I'm going to put that in here. This is 2 to the third power to the 2x power equals 2 to the x plus 5. Now, when you take a power of a power, the rule is this. If I take a to the m to the m power, this is the time that it actually is a to the n times m. So in our case here, this is going to be 2 to the 3 times 2x or 2 to the 6x equals 2 to the x plus 5. Now we have the same bases. So now we can say, okay, the exponents must be the same. And now we can solve. Subtract so x from both sides. And we get 5x equals 5. Divide, undo the division by 5, multi, multiplication by division. And the answer is x equals 1. Okay. So just notice again, you, the, if the bases aren't the same, you can't say the exponents are the same. You have to change it so you end up with the same bases, and then you can correct the problem. All right, I hope we help you tonight.